Well, I'm here in the studio with John Kuhn. And John, you are the artistic director of? Actors Theatre of Columbus. But we're actually talking about something very exciting today, your first collaboration with Columbus School for Girls and Actors Theatre. So how did you come up with this idea of doing Greek theatre at a Columbus School for Girls? The whole nature of the collaboration, what we wanted to do was bring to bear some of the resources from Actors Theatre in terms of um, actors who have a little bit more experience, a little bit more maturity, so that you're not seeing your tra traditional high school production where it's all high school age girls or, or boys playing all the roles. You're seeing age appropriate casting. It's a real collaboration. Yes. You have other really well known actors uh, from the community mm -hmm. also participating, mm -hmm. but you're in it yourself. I, yes, I. And got, who are you? Got Shanghai. Um, I am playing the god Poseidon. <laughs> What is exciting about working with the young girls and the young women at Columbus School for Girls? I, I think some of it, they are so energetic and excited and energized about the process. They, and it, I think it's a function of the, uh, the kind of uh, young student that Columbus School for Girls attracts, I think it's partly a function of Jeanette's training. These girls are really working hard, and they're, uh, it's so exciting to see them grow and see them making choices and developing as young actresses, but also really doing amazing work on these very, very challenging roles. This is not an easy play. One of the reasons we rarely see it done is because it's a challenging piece. Did you know that we were going to be having a whole bunch of revolutions uh, at this time in, in our history? Because this seems to be extremely timely. Well, uh, no, I wish I had that kind of foresight. Um, you are a I god, do. after all. <laughs> I am the, uh, well, I, I play one uh, on TV, but I'm not really a god. Um, we, unfortunately, without uh, the current uh, turmoil that's happening in the Middle East, we have had and are having a number of conflicts around the world. I mean, if you look at the nature and the, the number of armed conflicts that are happening, this play deals with the after effect, effects of that. So this is not about the battle. This is not about the Greeks uh, beating the Trojans. Now, in Trojan women, we see what happens to the women and children afterwards. What are the after effects of war? What we see is a small group of women who are waiting to learn their fate. We know that they'll be made slaves, and they're waiting to find out the nature of that slavery. Who will they be assigned to? What kind of... Uh, slavery will they be subjected to. And so it's a very gut-wrenching, a very heart-rending, but a very realistic uh, look at those repercussions of war. And so it's, 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 as you said, it's very timely. You are the director? Um, I'm a co-director. Co Janetta, Janetta Davis and I are co-directing the production. And so I'm mainly working with the adults and the um, the roles, and then she's mainly working with the chorus. And again, it's been a great process. Uh, we have some really strong actors. It opens on Thursday, March 3rd, and it actually has a 7.30 performance that evening. Then Thursday and Friday, the 4th and 5th, 8 o'clock, and then Sunday it'll have a 4 o'clock matinee. All of, the performances, all of the performances are at the Columbus School for Girls. They will have ticket information up on their website soon. Well, this has been very exciting. I can't wait for the opening of the Trojan Women. And we're, we're very excited by this opportunity. And unfortunately, we've already started talking about uh, what we might do uh, next year, too. Well, my guest today has been John Kuhn, who is not only performing in the Trojan Women, but is also the artistic director of Actors Theatre. I'm Joy Riley.